Cinema 5D at Photokina 2016 is brought to you by Angelbird, there to capture your creative moments. Tilta, arm your camera. Genus Tech, redefining the price point for quality camera accessories. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And Manfrotto, imagine more. Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D and we're here at the GoPro booth at Photokina 2016. And I'm here with Lucas from GoPro. And uh, Lucas, yesterday you released the GoPro Karma drone. Uh, it was uh, rumored that there will be a drone by GoPro, but now you finally released it. Um, can you tell us everything about the GoPro drone, please? GoPro Karma drone. So, the GoPro drone, it's a part of the bigger picture of GoPro. It's not just a drone, a selfie stick, it's or actually an expandable selfie stick. So it's really made to make photos, to make movies. It's easy to take, just a small box. Everything is inside, so you can put it open, make it open, unfold it and are already ready to start. Also included is a controller, nice and handy, with an integrated display, um, with the live view on, and also that more or less ready to fly, just out of the box. I said it's more than a drone, it has also a stabilizer inside, which is also included in the package, yeah, it's kind of the same feeling, just handheld, then flying a drone. The image is stabilizing, the horizontal is always straight, and it's all included in the package. So, the focus of the drone was to make it easy for the user to capture movies, to capture nice scenes. It's not about just flying, it's really about capturing the movie. The interface was made as simple as possible, just the important features we have. I would say that's the highlight things we have of the drone, of the Karma, and also of the stabilizer and the grip. Very nice. So that's all you need to fly the drone. It's all inside this package, basically. Yes. Yeah. Not just fly. It's also, if you have a scene which maybe is better just handheld, like flying here inside with so many people wouldn't be good, take the grip and you're ready to go. So the main focus is on making the drone compact, portable and easy to use, right? So yeah. you don't need a phone, like on DJI drones you need a phone to connect to the remote. In this case you just open it, switch it on and you can fly. Yeah. DJI has been around for a certain time developing these kinds of drones, right? Um, and GoPro is just entering the market. What would you say is the main difference of the new GoPro ecosystem of drones? GoPro has a long experience of making cameras, making good cameras and make it for the user also easy to use and I think that's the main thing we focused. How, how is the drone controlled? So um, maybe if you start, you can e uh, there's a tutorial coming up where you can learn all the major features, how the sticks are working, um, it's a simulator where you can see the drone you can swipe up and then actually just press the start stop button. Actually, I don't do it because it's live. And then you can fly with the stick right, forward and left, right, forwards, backwards, left, right, with the stick left, upwards and the turning around the own axis. And then if you don't see the UAV anymore and want to return, you just can press the button, select either returning to you where you're standing or where you have launched, so the home position, or you also can direct auto land. Are there any um, like uh, other automation uh, processes going on in the drone? Yeah, we have um, auto shoot paths like orbit, where you can select in, fly in air two points and then start circle around the first one. You can do our drone in, starting from you, heading backwards. We have the reveal, so coming to you and opening the camera, so from down to up. And also our cable cam, which is always going to point A to point B, so you have really time to do your shots. Can it also follow you when you're, for example, on a bike going down a hill or something? No, follow me, it's not in. So is, is the battery included in the drone or can you take it out and uh, put in a new one? 
Um, you can take the battery out, you can separate charge it, you can have multiple batteries. Um, actually, really easy to remove, just actually plug and play. Um, the good thing is you also can, if you're in the field, you can charge the controller with a separate battery with the charger, so it's really made for in the field testing and flying. Cool. How long does one battery last? It's 20 minutes flight time and control around four hours. Okay, Lucas, really interesting drone. Uh, when can we fly it? So the drone is in the shelf at the 23rd, uh, 23rd October. So from then the user can buy it, fly it and have fun. How much is it? How much is the complete package, including battery, the grip, uh, the GoPro and the remote? And including the stabilizer, it's with the Hero 5, it's $1,099 all together. So the GoPro Hero 5 is, I think, $400? $399? Yeah. So that makes the drone more or less uh, like $700 or something like that. Yeah, if you just buy the drone um, without Hero 5, it costs um, $699, so you actually spare 100 bucks. Cool. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching.